embracing the strange today with the illusion of portals to and grow. I almost painted this yesterday. However, there's a part of me that is put off by it because I don't find it as engaging as my other pieces. Its tone is very indifferent, and also, this feels a bit invasive, like it shouldn't be seen for some reason. The figure is seated with its back to the onlooker, disregarding their presence, along with their interest, if they harbor any, whilst the hands attend to the body. One distorted arm has reached back through the gaping torso of the body, not unlike a keyhole, and caught the tumbling head careening off the shoulders, the neck reverberates with the elasticity of a bungee cord. The other hand hangs back through the threshold of the gaping torso, curiously touching the neck. A purple eye peeks out between two spidery fingers. Another is concealed within the crease of the thigh and hip. I feel like it is a glimpse at growth, self-discovery, and the body's inner workings. So even though it's finished, it feels like it's a work in progress sort of piece. Maybe a behind the scenes as it's caught in movement. To me, it's like between paintings, a figure resetting for a pose. And oddly, although it's not the first time, while I was painting this, I kept thinking of the Dr. Seuss, Oh, the Places You'll Go. I've come to think of him as a sort of tertiary influence because my teachers in elementary school read like Green Eggs and Ham and over the places you'll go and then during that time there was also like the movies i specifically remember the cat in the hat the grinch which is like a yearly thing so that's just like cultural time place and i and i like the the grinch version with jim carrey i believe it's jim carrey right i don't know um the lorax that was another one i remember because i was in student council and that was so yeah um, watching the movies in school, too, that was another thing we did. So I didn't really have much of a say in my exposure to him. I don't love him, I don't hate him, but I really feel like I cannot escape him. Like, he really had the culture in a, in a chokehold, in a way. For a while, I thought to describe my art as Oh, the Places You'll Go meets Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night on a strong stimulant or hallucinogenic, sort of like na- narcotic, you know? And I do actually really like Oh, the Places You'll Go. Of all the, all the books that I think I've seen of his, that one does stand out to me. There's something about the colors, the pastel sort of visuals, and like the winding movement. It, it really stuck with me. There's like, uh, maybe it makes me a little bit nostalgic. It reminds me of the Sky Dancer, his VHS tape, because that cover had like the color palette that was very similar to that. Do you see it? I don't know. Tell me what you think. If you care, consider liking or subscribing. I really appreciate it. And if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on. So I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.